All right, let's do this. What's up guys? I got a brand new video for you today. This is a classic unboxing video. Something I haven't done in a super long time just because I feel like it's not necessary in a lot of products because all you're there to see is what it can do, what it's capable of, and what it looks like. What it can do and capable of is the exact same thing. But anyway, I got two things in here from Sony. Brand new things. Well, this is kind of old, but this is their new vlogger kit. Um, they had this Bluetooth handle remote thing before, but now this one comes with a SD card and it's kind of targeted towards this camera because you've got the actual picture there. So this is the ZV-1 for America and the rest of the world, we call it the ZV-1. But basically, this is their new content creation camera. It says it right on the box there. Content creation made simple. So this is 100% aimed towards vloggers and YouTubers, I guess. And it's pretty cool because uh, they went through a lot of the specs with me and I've probably posted my review. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this first or my review first or just post this in a live stream, but we're gonna drop right into this box here and see what they got inside. And uh, yeah, as I was mentioning, Sony was telling me all the specs and features and this camera has a one inch sensor in it. It's got the 20 megapixel one inch sensor. Uh, it's got a 24 to 70 f 1.8 f 2.8 lens, which is very similar to the RX100 Mark V before they discontinued that setup and went to the six and the seven. And those lenses weren't as fast, but they had way further zooms. Um, this camera has like crazy face detection, eye detection, um, a bunch of few options like bokeh mode where it just like you push a button it automatically opens up the aperture. Um, it's got new mics in it, so some really good audio. It's obviously got the flip out screen instead of the flip up screen. And it's got three mics on it, I think. And it's got a bunch of other things, but you'll just have to watch the review where I go through all the actual things that this camera's capable of. But you're here to see the unboxing, so I'm gonna shut up and uh, let's open this stuff up. So we got the paperwork here, this stuff, if you wanna read it. I never read this stuff because I like to just dig into the camera and see what I can learn on my own. Trial and error. So we don't need this. Okay. There's hardly anything in this box. Bare bones. So this is the battery, which looks exactly the same as the one that comes in the RX100 cameras. And we can put that off to the side. USB to micro USB for charging. And, oh, we got a little dead cat. That's cool. So this is the dead cat and it's got, uh, I guess it's just a little plastic cold shoe. If you can see that. And that'll clip into the top of the camera because this camera has a hot shoe on it, which is really cool. That's literally all that's in the box. So there's no wall charger, which most of us have anyway, so we don't really need it, but it would have been nice. You can get chargers for these batteries. I have one actually for my RX100. Yeah, so let's drop this camera out of here. Okay, so right off the bat, it feels lighter than my RX100 Mark V. And that's because it's made out of plastic, you hear that? So all the RX100 cameras are made out of metal. I've already got fingerprints all over this, great. But uh, here's what we're here to see, the flip out screen. I just realized this would actually be, so it came in the box with the screen facing out like this. But you could protect the screen by flipping it around like most cameras and that's amazing for just tossing into a bag. The cool thing is this camera's like ready to go. It's got a, doesn't need a lens cap because the shutter closes off. This is covered now. It's plastic, just throw it in your bag. That's really cool. So yeah, this flip out screen is gonna be super handy for vlogging, especially now that they have the uh, hot shoe up top here. So now when you put a mic on it, it's not gonna block the screen. Let me uh, quickly grab my, yeah, so this is my RX100 Mark V. And as you can see, this has a flip up screen, but if you wanted to put a mic on it, it would be completely blocking it. And so, you know, there isn't even a place to put a mic on this anyway, but uh, yeah, that's just kind of a nice thing where they flip it out to the side because that leaves the entire top clear. They look almost exactly the same. Um, I would say that the RX100 
Mark V is definitely way skinnier. So they've got a bigger grip on this thing, which is nice. I mean, it doesn't make it that much bigger. Cool. All right, we'll come back to this in a bit. I'm gonna unbox the little vlogger kit here. So in here, the kit includes the handle, a case, and then obviously the SD card. And it shows all the cameras it's compatible with, which is basically most of the newer cameras that have come out. It's showing like a A6100 or an A6400 on this as well. Wirelessly control your camera zoom, capture and record functions. C1 button on the grip recalls the paired camera's C1 custom button function. Fully enclosed, cable-free grip design keeps dust and moisture out. So I guess it's some type of weather sealing on it. This probably isn't weather sealed. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> a box within a box. So there's our SD card. It's a 64 gig UHS-2 but it's not the fast UHS-2. 270 megabytes read, 70 megabytes write. So it's a, it's a decent card. It, it'll be good enough for this camera because this camera is only UHS-1 anyway. Okay, so we don't need this. I've actually never seen this grip in person, to be honest, because this isn't something I typically buy. But I think it's a really cool idea because it's also a tripod, right? So you can set that up and also use it as a handle grip. So what else comes in here? So that's the cloth, the carrying pouch, and then tons of paperwork. Probably tells you how to pair and stuff, but um, I'll show you how to pair it in this video. Okay, so we don't need this. I'm making a massive mess. Here we are, thing and thing, two things. Okay, so on the grip here, obviously we have on this side, my right, your left. This is the adjustment tool here, so you can tighten it and loosen it. And then yeah, on the left side, there's a button you push in and then you can change the angle. Lock that down if you're worried it's gonna come free because even when this is loose, this is still locked in. You can't really move it, but it just makes it extra secure. And then at the top, we have our thing that tightens the camera on. And then on the front here, we've got photo, movie power, record. You can lock our stuff out here. And then C1 custom button, and then the T and W is just your zoom. Super easy, turns into a tripod. And uh, this is where the battery is, I guess. This definitely has weather sealing on it. So this thing definitely is weather sealed. So there is a battery in here. So let's put that in. So, plus sides up, drop it in like that. Close that off, clip it in, done. This pouch is some kind of microfiber cloth. Knowing most people, they'll probably just throw that in their bag and not use this, but it's nice to have this anyway. Okay. So the battery door is down here. I'm not seeing any weather sealing on it. So I'm gonna guess that it's probably not weather sealed. Drop our battery in. Chances are this is not charged. Let's turn this on and see if it's got power. I, I just put the battery in it. Oh, it's already on, okay. So, uh, hold on. Okay. So that's interesting. This thing has a switch in it that automatically turns it on. So look at this. This is, wait, it just turned itself off. The green light went out on top. See the power there? It's currently turned off. When I open this screen up, it turns itself on. So that's kind of cool. I guess it's like an easy on. If you want to quickly shut it off, you just close the screen. And then you open it up, flips on. And that was a fast boot up time. So. Let's go in here and uh, just set the camera up, I guess, and then we can uh, see what it does. Okay, so the camera's on, boom. 
lens pops out. This screen looks nice. Okay, so let's see how fast this thing turns on. So it auto turns off when the screen flips shut. Screen open, camera's instantly on. So that's really cool, there's no boot up time. Okay, so I wanna show you how to pair the remote control with the camera here. So we're gonna go into menu, make sure we're on network settings at the top here, Bluetooth settings, make sure that's turned on. Go back, go down to Bluetooth remote control, turn that on. Then it's gonna turn the pairing on. What we need to do is hold down photo and the T button. And now it's connected, you can see here. Click okay. Now these two things are paired. So I can obviously zoom in. And then I can trigger photo. And then C1 is my custom button, so it'll trigger the custom button up here. You can program this to do whatever you want. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching the unboxing. Make sure to watch the review. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. See you guys in the next one.